Today, let us understand the second law of universe. Yesterday, we understood about the first law of universe, that is divine oneness. Today, let us understand the law of vibration. The law of vibration is related to the second body, that is your etheric body, that is your emotions. When we go to a place or when we meet a person, we generally say the vibrations are very high, the vibrations are good, the vibes are good. How is the vibes are good? The vibes means, the vibrations means, the feelings. If your feelings are good, it means the vibrations are good. When your etheric body is so pure, and if you don't have any hidden intentions, any blockages, and whatever you speak, whatever you do, your feelings will have very high vibrations. If you have your very high vibrations, then you attract. If your vibrations are high, that is, with a pure intention, the pure feelings, then followed by high frequency. What is high frequency? That comes with the energy, the third body, mental body. We say mind's frequency, alpha, beta, gamma, theta. But for you to achieve that, your second body frequency, that is vibration has to be high. Only a person who has meditated for thousands and thousands of hours and cleansed his entire etheric body and have fixed all his unnecessary emotions, he will be living with high vibrations. The higher your vibrations are, then followed by subsequently the high frequency of your mind. If the frequency of the mind is high, from the beta it has to go to alpha, then it is theta, then it is to delta. Then you will start channeling very higher messages. Then you will start connecting to the higher frequency masters, higher frequency dimensions, higher frequency worlds, your higher frequency soul. Soul vibrates in a very higher frequency. But if your mind frequency is very less, how will you match? Lot of people, they are in groups. They like particular group. They stay with that group. They like that group a lot. What does it mean? The vibrations of the group is same first. They have a similar feelings. So they all get attracted. And also the frequency of the group is more or less same because they all have the similar energy. So the law of attraction says that. Similarly, if you want to achieve something, that goal, even that goal will have a certain vibration and a certain frequency. If you increase the vibration and the frequency of the body, 
automatically you will achieve that goal. <clears throat> but the simple thing you must do is express everything openly, not to hide, either in the written form or word form. Keep your emotions clean as possible, pure as possible, like children. Then increase your energy, increase your frequency, so that all the higher frequency worlds, masters, opportunities will come to you naturally. You don't need to run behind anything. Things will run behind you. The right opportunities, the right people, the right situations, everything will come to you because you have altered your emotions, vibrations. You have altered your mind's frequency. If your emotions, vibrations are high, then it will follow with mind's higher frequency. Then you will attract, be it a person or a situation or a frequency or a goal, whatever it is. The fifth dimension we call, it's a very high buzzword. Everybody speaks high about fifth dimension, higher dimensions. What is higher dimensions? The higher dimensions mean higher frequencies, higher vibrations, your mind has to be so pure there, so clear there, your emotions has to be so pure, your mind has to be so clear, then you will be able to survive there, otherwise you cannot. The lower seven worlds have Low vibrations, low frequency, that is why you suffer there. There is no freedom, there is no decision making, there is no friendship, there is jealousy, there is hatred, there is everything you don't want. So for you not to get connected to the seven worlds, which is below you, you have to increase your vibration, you have to increase your frequency of this physical body of this physical body, of this etheric body, of this mind, then you always stay in the higher frequency. Then you become an inspiration for the lower worlds to evolve. And also you will be able to catch the higher worlds, higher masters, their messages. You will be able to catch hold of your own soul purpose. Anything above the earth, has higher frequency. Anything above the earth will have higher vibrations. But how are you going to access it? It exists. Tapolok exists. Satyalok exists. But every visible world, every invisible world, every visible object, every invisible object, everything has a frequency, everything has a vibration. In order to access that, you need to Increase your vibrations, your frequencies. Then you will catch it. So all that you need to do is first work on your emotions. When your intellect becomes sharp, your emotions get clenched a lot. You must meditate a lot for your etheric body to cleanse. And you must do a lot of spiritual service so that your energy increases. The higher works you do, the you will get attracted to the higher frequencies. This is what we must do. We must work on our own emotions. We must work on increasing our energies, increasing our consciousness. Every act, every word, every thought, has to be universal, has to be for everybody. Then you will increase the frequency. If it is for only for you, it may be less. But if it is for everybody, it will be more. 
So you must decide, you must understand, you must choose which one you want. And every time when you are going for a new experience, the soul enriches. If you do a good spiritual service, your consciousness expands. You must dedicate some time for you. You must dedicate some time for others' spiritual growth. Then 360 degrees you grow. You must allow that to happen. You are your own inspiration. You are on your own motivation. When you read a lot of spiritual books, your wisdom increases. Initially, you may be confused. You will not understand certain points, but no problem. You are getting introduced to new dimensions. You are getting introduced to new terminologies. You are getting introduced to so many vows. You are getting introduced to so many confusions. But that is how it starts. The more experiences you get, the more and more you progress, then those things will become more clear to you. The more higher vibrations you have, the more higher frequencies you have, it will help you. You must make your room very high vibrations place. You must keep it, first of all, physically very clean. You must keep a pyramid so that all the thought forms in that room will get vanished. You must use crystals so that the vibrations of that place increases. You must ensure from your mouth not an one unnecessary word comes out so that the vibrations in the room get disturbed. So in order to follow all these things, the 18 principles are very, very useful. No gossips. Gossips are strictly forbidden. If you gossip, you are decreasing the frequency, you are decreasing the vibration of that place, of your own body and your mind. Then what you get attracted to? The lower vibrations, lower frequencies, the lower minds. So who created that reality? You created that reality. Seth beautifully says, we create our own reality. You are the creator of your life. You are a creator of everything around you. Knowingly and knowingly. We attract. So remember, the frequency and the vibrations. Two terminologies. Vibration is related to the emotions. Frequencies are related to the mind. When there is, when it is about to rain, first the light comes, then the thunder comes. Light travels fast, then the sound comes. First the emotions come because there is a second body, immediate body to the physical body. You will see, you know, you will feel, I am not feeling good here. Then you will start seeing why. First the feelings then the thoughts. If you are good at observing your own feelings, then you can. You don't need any third eye. Many people we meet every day. With certain people, we would love to spend more time. With certain people, we say, no, no, I want to leave. Why? Because there is a mismatch in the frequency. If there is a mismatch in the frequency, it means the mind waves are different. The vibrations, certain places you don't feel like staying. Certain places you don't feel like leaving. Why? Because the vibrations of that place is very high or the vibrations are very bad. If the vibration of the place is not good, you will feel uneasiness. If the frequency of a person, that is nothing but the aura, Your state of the mind 
will reflect in the aura. If you have golden aura, it means your state of the mind is very great, very high frequency. Otherwise, you will have a black aura, you have a grey aura, where it is impure and the frequencies will be very low. So either a person or the place, whenever we go and when we stay there, if you are feeling comfortable, if you are feeling good, if you are not feeling to leave, it means the frequency and the vibration is high. If you don't want to meet certain person or you don't want to stay at some place, it means the frequency and the vibration of the place is very low. So you need to observe your feelings, you need to observe your mind to understand many things. But fundamentally, when you meditate, the vibrations and the frequency of your body and the mind will increase. Thank you very much, my dear friends.